who persecuted Paul? Hey, we're here talking about the Apostle Paul, and the quick answer is honorable women and chief men. Let's read a verse, Acts 13, verse 15. And hey, if you're new to this channel, these videos are designed to support my Bible reading challenge that's on Facebook. The link was in the descriptions. And so if you're here, I'm glad you're here. And I hope you get some kind of inspiration from this. And if you've never read the entire Bible for yourself, I would encourage you to do so. It will change your life. So today's reading was Acts 14 through 17. And this verse is Acts 13, 50. So let's read it. But the Jews stirred up the devout and honorable women and the chief men of the city and raised persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them out of their coasts. Okay, so my contention today in this video, this is going to be a short video, is that Jews and especially people that are trying to follow the law are still following or still stirring up devout and honorable women and chief men for persecution against Paul. And it shows up in the form of the, the Apostle Paul not being recognized for who he is and his teachings being minimized, if not completely ignored. So who was Paul? Well, Paul was the last apostle. He was the only apostle, the only apostle to be given a dispensation, which was the dispensation of the grace of God. So if you ever hear yourself saying, oh, we live by grace or, you know, we're, we're living in the time of grace, what you're really saying and, and referencing is the dispensation of the grace of God that Paul spoke about in writing to Timothy. What we'll also see being minimized or ignored is that Paul told us to rightly divide the word of truth. Well, that kind of begs the question, if you stop and think about it, what does it mean to rightly divide the word of truth? Most people recognize two divisions in their Bible, the Old Testament and the New Testament. But the reality is it gets more granular than that. And I talk about this pretty regularly throughout my content because it's critical to understanding God's word. And so my contention here is that the Bible must be rightly divided along dispensational lines. And without that, you get confusion, you get religion, you get ritual instead of relationship. And I want to encourage anybody that listens to me to have a relationship with the Lord. And I think one of the primary ways that we do that is through his words. Can you imagine being in a relationship with somebody, you know, an earthly relationship, whether it's romantic or business or friends or whatever, and there's no words shared between you? What kind of relationship would that be? Even people that can't speak or that are deaf will use sign language to communicate and effectively share words between each other. Words are how you have a relationship with God. And so if you've never read the entire Bible, and you look, I don't care how long you've been saved. I don't care if you've been saved six months or 60 years. If you've never read the entire Bible for yourself, I would encourage you to do so. It will absolutely change your life. So if it'll help you out, at the beginning of January this year, we're going to be restarting the Bible reading challenge. It's a five-day reading plan. It gives scheduled days off around major holidays and things like that, just some, sometimes some extra days, but it's a five-day reading plan. It gives you Saturday and Sunday to get caught up or take a break, and it's extremely effective. So that's all I've got to say. The idea of this video is that Paul, the Apostle Paul, is still being persecuted. And he's, and he's being persecuted through either being ignored or minimized in the local churches today. Okay, again, my name is Eric Johansson. Thanks for being here. Please subscribe. If you think this video might help somebody that you know or care about, please share it to them. And again, I'm glad you're here. Have a good Bible read.